Hi, it's John from Dynaspectrum. I wanted to answer a few queries that people have about the two app concept that we have in the DS1. When you get the DS1 originally, it will have a factory app in it, which will have a factory icon at the top of its web browser. In this case, it's already married up to my local Wi-Fi, so it has a strong green Wi-Fi icon and a cloud showing that it's connected to the DS1 server. The only purpose of this factory app is to allow you to fetch one of the 40 present Audi ECU versions that we support in the form of an OBD app, which contains all the ECU data that we need to flash, whether that be stock, staged, custom tunes, it lets us do the real-time tune, the map switching, all the unique DS1 features. Those are sizable, and we can't possibly fit 40 versions of those and any future ones for any other cars that we support in a tiny device that you get on delivery. So you get this factory app, and in its update tab, once you're connected to the internet, it tells you the version of itself, and also the version of the OBD app that's loaded. The OBD app has two numbers. Uh, one of them is the software, and one of them is all the ECU data that's in them. These numbers are referenced when we write about having an update, so we'll refer to them as you know, 1621. Um, in the tab here, you can also choose to restart the DS1 into the factory app or the OBD app. So because we've already updated the OBD app, it's shown here in green and it has a version. Let's reboot into that just now. When it does that, you'll see it lost connection with the DS1 and then the browser should refresh itself. Uh, it's just connecting to the DS1 again. And now you can see we're in the OBD app shown by the OBD icon. Again, we've got strong green Wi-Fi and it's connected to the DS1 server. So the internet tab is just the same. It's just for finding your Wi-Fi network. The update tab in this case, it updates its opposite number. So the OBD app can update the factory app. And when we do a big update, we might do both of these. Um, for example, in the past, we've updated the factory app for better performance when updating, for increases in stability, for ethanol content sensor reading, um, for different ways of identifying new vehicles. There are some extra tabs in the OBD app, such as ECU. Here in green, it shows that the ECU has been flashed. It shows you the file name of, of what the ECU was last flashed with, the chassis number of the car, and the type of ECU, MEG17162, is a DAZA. And here, this type, so this is a 2020 US car. In here, we've also got all the fault code reading, flashing, map switching, which, you know, if you don't have cruise control buttons or you don't want to use them, you can do it from here. You can clear the fault code, you can flash back to stock, you can set the ethanol content manually. All of these can be defined by us through updates. They're not baked into the DS1, so we can easily add new features and operations here. The file tab shows you and lets you download, if it's shown in green, any of these files that are on the DS1, so it saves previous fault codes that you've read. It has an XDF if you want to do your own tuning in Tuner Pro. Uh, it has DS2, which is a high-speed data logger. In this case, it's also got five off-the-shelf maps. Two of these have the qualification alpha in them, which means that when you go to flash the ECU, they will not show on the available list. They're just there for you to download. We do this because these are quite fruity maps for very specific high specs and stage four for a built engine. And we don't want people just accidentally flashing these, not worrying that the spec isn't quite right and then bending a rod. These need and benefit from your or a professional's attention. Stock calibration is a stock flash. Map encrypt is a tool that's documented in the user manual that tuners can use to send you a map, but for which only works on your DS1 and for which you cannot view or edit the contents. This is so that they can protect their hard won tuning skills and IP work if they choose to. It's, it's between you and your tuner whether they send you maps encrypted or not. All our OTS maps have huge effort in. We, we lead the industry in the quality of our tuning and ours are open, but we recognize that some tuners keep theirs open for you and others prefer to encrypt them. 
there's no right or wrong answer. We provide you both options. Um, this DLL here can be used with Tuner Pro to do emulation, as in real-time tuning, which is another unique DSL feature. And there's a few bits and pieces down here where you can send a custom file from your tuner or yourself that you've modified in Tuner Pro, and then it'll be stored in this file manager. You can see there's 100% free. You can usually fit about 50 or more custom tunes in here before that fills up. So I hope this has been a useful overview of the two apps. The, the main concept to remember is the factory app is small. It's what arrives on your DS1. It has a factory icon that looks like this. Its purpose is to receive the OBD app from our server on the internet, which you get to by seeing these icons here that show you have a, a connection to our server. Thanks very much.